In this video, I'll show you step by step how to create the liquid glass effect just like the one used in Apple commercials right inside After Effects. And at the end, I'll even show you how to automate everything with just one click. Step 1. Create the base shape. Select the rectangle tool from the top toolbar. Draw a rectangle in the center of your composition. In the shape options, set roundness to 80 to smooth the corners. Use the align panel to center it perfectly. Step 2. Duplicate and rename layers. Duplicate the rectangle layer twice, Ctrl D two times. You should now have three layers. Rename them Refraction, Liquid Glass Stroke. Step 3. Set up the refraction layer. Select the refraction layer. Change the fill color to black. Go to Layer, Layer Styles, Inner Glow. Click on Inner Glow and configure the following settings. Color, White, Blend Mode, Normal, Opacity 100%, Size 40 pixels. Effects to the liquid glass layer. Select the liquid glass layer. Apply these five effects. Brightness and Contrast, Gaussian Blur, Noise Transform, Displacement Map. Use the following settings. Brightness, 50. Contrast, minus 100. Blurriness, 60. Noise Amount, 5%. Transform Scale, 120. Displacement Map, Layer, Refraction. Use for both directions, Effects and Masks. Max Displacement, H and V, 30 to 50. Enable Adjustment Layer in the Layer Switches. Step 5. Style the Stroke Layer. Select the Stroke Layer. In the top toolbar, set fill to none. Enable stroke. Set the color to white. Stroke with 1 to 2 pixels. Step 6. Final touches. Add a text layer that says liquid glass or any title you like. Feel free to add a background gradient or blurred image behind. Now you've got a clean, modern liquid glass interface effect, just like in Pro UI Designs. Want to save even more time? I've built a custom script that automates the entire process, from creating the layers to applying the effects, naming and even parenting all with one click. If you want it, just comment liquid glass below. If enough people ask, I'll drop the download link in the description. Trust me, this will save you a ton of time on future projects. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what effect you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching. See you soon.